so let us start uh, this protein uh, classification uh, because last uh, uh, ppt this slides was not so clear so i thought of uh, 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 repeating uh, those slides again with some more slides so uh, today's is uh, biochemistry class is protein classification uh, continuous okay old one also there for more clarity i am repeating these things okay so protein classification you know already classification based on biological function how many are there there are 10 based on biological function okay based on biological function there are 10 one is catalytic protein hexokinase so which is required for conversion of glucose uh, glycogen to glucose pepsin proteolytic enzyme second one structural protein keratin of hair and nail and collagen which is distributed throughout the body bones and tendon third is functional classification contractile protein actin myosin in required for muscle contraction then transport protein best example is hemoglobin which is required for the transport of oxygen then transferrin required for the transport of iron okay uh, next is membrane transport protein sodium potassium atps across the membrane for the glucose transport transport glucose transporter is required uh, some of the proteins are hormones they are regulatory protein they are uh, control various metabolic activities best example is insulin insulin is a hypoglycemic hormone which controls the blood sugar which maintains the blood sugar normal range so it is a peptide hormone there are two types of hormone one is steroid hormone other one is peptide hormone peptide means protein peptide uh, amino acid linked by peptide bond those uh, compounds are called peptide so insulin is a peptide so it is a peptide hormone it, so it's a protein so hormonal protein the best example is uh, insulin also growth hormone next one is storage protein ferritin is a required for the storage of iron okay iron required for the storage of iron protective mainly immunoglobulin which involved in antigen antibody reactions uh, they increase in uh, if any uh, foreign antibodies enters the body antibody titers increases so immunoglobulins are nothing but a class of proteins which involved in antigen antibody reaction what are those igg iga igm ige all immunoglobulins they also a type of class of proteins the next is clotting proteins which is required for coagulation of blood which is present in the a blood prothrombin fibrinogen uh, tenth classification is receptor protein various receptor hormone receptor in cell membrane okay so these are the, these are the ten classify functional classification of protein next is uh, classification of protein based on shape okay so this slide what is this is the classification of protein based on shape uh, based on shape proteins are classified into, into globular proteins and fibrous protein based on shape proteins are classified into globular and fibrous globular protein spherical or oval shape best example is albumin globulin and myoglobulin hemoglobin etc then fibrous elongated okay globular oval or round fibrous is elongated example is collagen elastin fibrinogen and all. So globular globular proteins are more soluble in water because of their round shape. Okay, so that is it. So uh, the, uh, there is a classification of based on the shape, fibrous and globular. First classification based on function or functional classification of protein. Second one is based on the shape, globular and fibrous this is the third classification of protein based on composition and solubility and all so above criteria we can uh, uh, classify protein into simple one which contains only mainly amino 
acids okay next conjugated and derived proteins they are not actual proteins they are derived simple is they contains only amino acid so simple conjugated and derived simple protein contain only amino acid some contain small quantity of other substances as well so again under simple globular and fibrous so don't con confuse under shape also globular and fibrous is there under simple protein also globular globular and fibrous protein is included okay uh, so globular proteins particular oval uh, albumin which is soluble in water okay and it is coagulated by heat okay even egg albumin uh, ova albumin globulins serum globulins okay next protamin uh, this is under which classification simple protein globular protein under simple protein globular protein albumin then protamin soluble in water and not coagulated by heat sperm protein example prolamin soluble in water and alcohol zein of corn gliadin of wheat lutein origin from oryza sativa that is rice lute lutein that is lutein is wheat okay which is present in the cereal wheat okay so these are the uh, five types under what under simple protein globular uh, proteins under albumin globulin protamin prolamin and lutein uh, uh, so under simple protein second is glob uh, fibrous protein they are fiber like elongated shape not digestible and they are also insoluble in water collagen most abundant protein in the uh, body that is the one example for for fibrous protein elastin it confers elasticity and extensibility to arteries and tendons so the elastin protein present in arteries and tendons okay next fibrous protein uh, under fibrous protein and next third one is first one under fibrous collagen second one is elastin third one is fibrillin that is fibronectin and lamini laminin uh, fibrillin is uh, located in microfibrils okay keratin mainly seen in hair and nail second classification is simple protein second classification is based on the solubility and all second classification is conjugated protein so there is a combination of protein and non protein conjugated means there is a combination of non protein that is prosthetic group and protein glycoprotein glyco as the name indicated contains carbohydrate along with protein okay so here carbo carbohydrate is the prosthetic group Ex best example is celluloplasmin which is related to copper okay and uh, a lipoprotein lipid and protein okay okay uh, lipid is the prosthetic group here uh, example ldl uh, hdl ldl means low density lipoprotein hdl chylomicrons and all okay so third one is see first uh, under conjugated Uh, glycoprotein celluloplasmin lipoprotein hd and ldl chylomicrons third one is phosphoprotein here phosphate is bound to oh group of amino acid residue casein of milk it is a phosphoprotein casein of milk is phosphoprotein nucleoproteins fourth one is they are present in nucleic acid what are those dna and rna as these nucleoproteins Uh, uh they have nucleic acid in dna and rna as prosthetic group they are proteins and nucleic as uh, this nucleic uh, acids okay dna and rna as prosthetic uh, group they present they have nucleic acid dna or rna as prosthetic group example nucleohistones 
सो क्रोमो प्रोटीन है प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप क्रोमो मीन्स कलर ओके क्रोमो प्रोटीन विच है कलर्ड इन नेचर एग्जाम्पल हीमोग्लोबिन एगेन हीमोग्लोबिन कैन बी गिवन ट्रांसफर प्रोटीन हीमोग्लोबिन ऑल्सो इट इज ए क्रोमो प्रोटीन क्रोमो मीन्स कलर ओके हीमोग्लोबिन इज रेड इन कलर बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द हीम देर रेड इन कलर क्रोमो प्रोटीन ओके नेक्स्ट इज मेटालो प्रोटीन कंटेन मेटल आयॉन्स सेलो प्लाजमिन कंटेन्स कॉपर ओके सेटोक्रोम ऑक्सीडेज कंटेन्स आयरन आयरन ओके सो सो मेटल आयॉन्स दे कंटेन्स दो एज ए प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप दे कॉल इट एज मेटल आयॉन्स सेवेंथ वन इज म्यूको प्रोटीन हियर कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज देर एज प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप म्यूसिन ग्लाइकोस अमाइनो ग्लाइकैंस वॉट आर दोस्ट ग्लाइकोस अमाइनो ग्लाइकैंस I already told in carbohydrate classification in polysaccharide glycosaminoglycans or heteropolysaccharide okay gags mucopolysaccharides okay what are those hyaluronic acid chondroitin sulfate dermatin sulfate heparin and all so they are muco protein so to, uh, so again in this a conjugated protein simple all those albumin globulin and fibrous you have seen then uh, under conjugated protein so uh, glycoprotein lipoprotein phosphoprotein nucleoprotein chromoprotein metalloprotein and mucoprotein next conjugate after conjugated derived protein simple conjugated and derived this is the third one derived proteins are those which are derived from simple or conjugated protein so what are the derived proteins they derived from simple or conjugated protein again there are two types primary and secondary derived proteins so here in primary derived protein primary structure of protein is remains intact example fibrin Pro proteins proteins means denatured proteins fibrin proteins have the primary secondary tertiary and quaternary, quaternary structure so uh, in this uh, primary derived protein primary protein of the uh, primary structure of the protein remain intact means without uh, uh, disturbed primary structure is not disturbed here so under primary derived protein example denatured pro proteins that is denatured protein fibrin okay so their uh, primary structure of protein is maintained okay second is see under derived primary derived under pri primary derived proteins example fibrin second one see under primary derived first one proteins second one met metallo uh, sorry meta proteins formed by the action of concentrated acid and alkalis on protein meta proteins okay uh, then coagulated proteins when denaturation uh, de become irreversible it is permanent denaturation of protein there are different uh, denaturating agent either acid alkali heat and all we can denature the protein we can spoil the structure of the protein without disturbing primary structure so coagulated proteins happen uh, this uh, obtained when denaturation becomes irreversible the protein is called coagulum uh, you have seen primary under three secondary derived proteins derived from hydrolysis okay example proteoses peptides and peptones next classification is based on nutritional classification of protein this mainly a depend on the um, what type of amino acid present in protein uh, what food depend on the food okay nutritional classification of protein okay there are complete proteins under uh, nutrition okay partially uh, incomplete protein and incomplete proteins okay so complete protein or protein with high biological value dietary proteins with all essential 10 essential amino acid we will see what are those 10 essential amino acid 
in amino acid classification now don't worry so dietary protein with all 10 essential amino acids in the right proportion for human need are nutritionally rich protein best example is egg albumin egg white not yellow part is the egg albumin and casein of milk which is a phosphoprotein okay they are complete proteins second one is partially a so uh, what are those essential amino acids methionine threonine tryptophan valine isoleucine leucine phenyl alanine and lysine they contains almost all albumin egg albumin so it is a complete protein next is partially incomplete protein partially 50-50 are proteins with low biological va value they partially lack one or more essential amino acid if there is a lack of essential amino acid in the diet it is the danger so because essential amino acids are not synthesized in the body which is to be obtained from diet okay so partial incomplete protein or protein with low biological value they partially lack one or more amino acid example cereal protein lack in lysine what are those cereal uh, wheat rice and all cereal they contain more carbohydrate and less proportion of protein so cereal protein lack in lysine amino acid pulses your fasciolus mung dal ud dal and all so pulses lack in amino acid methionine methionine is sulfur containing amino acid okay so partially incomplete they lack one or more essential amino acid third one is incomplete protein or protein with zero biological value they completely lack one or more essential amino acid that is zein of corn and gelatin zein of corn those are taking continuously corn they find in deficiency of amino acid okay so these are the uh, complete classification of uh, uh, protein okay thank you